Link for the final project file is in the description. You can download and play around with the scene. The idea for this tutorial came from this post from motiondesigner.pro on Pinterest. Okay, let's go. First, add a plane. For the values, enter something like 230 and 280. Rotate it on minus Z axis. Width segment 2, height segment 3. Okay. Let's also turn off the word plane for now. Add the plane inside the subdivision surface, change it to bilinear, add everything inside the cloner object, change it to linear. For the values on cloner object, enter 17 for count and for mode enter and for mode choose endpoint. Enter 150 for ZP and 0 for other two and that's okay for now add the symmetry object in the scene put the cloner inside the symmetry object and the symmetry turn off for the X axis and turn it on for the Z select the cloner object add the plane effector change the value for Y to something like 400 here zoom out a little bit add the box field here box field here come to right view change the size of the box field to cover everything for the inner box make it very small select the box field come to remapping click on invert select here on contour mode select curve and adjust the handles to get something like this for now let's make the outer box bigger to get a more gradual effect that's okay for now add the symmetry inside the connect object turn off the weld and the connect object add the connect inside the thicken generator on the thicken generator change the values for the thickness to one and for the subdivision to something like two that's okay add the thicken inside the subdivision surface 2 is okay but it will slow down the PC so for now let's turn off the thicken and subdivision we will turn them back on at the end for rendering let's add everything inside the Voronoi object Voronoi fracture object come to source tab delete this point generator add the plane effector on the Voronoi fracture object come to plane effector add the linear field on it linear field come to right view select the plane effector come to parameters turn off position turn on rotation and for rb enter something like minus 30 come to linear field come to field tab select something like positive z here increase the size push it to the right side as you can see it is affecting only one side to gradually rotate come back to linear field come to remapping for the control mode select quadratic and increase this value until you are happy about what you are seeing you can always come back to this linear field change its size reposition it i think that's okay for now let's duplicate this plane effector select the Voronoi fracture come to effector drag and drop this new effector here get back to effector for the rotation value enter positive 30 select the linear field drag it over to this side on the linear field come to remapping select invert and as you can see we have two sides with different rotation for the end panels on the display select something like constant shading lines it is a good idea to save the file for now i will call it v folding shift live v1.1 come to effectors for the voronoi and turn this option off not applying changes on the color also come to this plane effector turn this off come back to voronoi fracture and another plane effector we will only use this for coloring come to parameters turn everything off come here add a shader field here click on shader field come to field tab here click on this drop down search for noise come to color remapping change it to gradient i will add the three colors 
and change them to colors like red, yellow, yellow for this one and orange for this one. To see the coloring, select the Voronoi fracture and turn off colorized fragments. As you can see, the coloring is applied now. Okay, now let's come back to connect object, add the uh, add a displacer deformer. Where is displacer deformer? Displacer deformer on the fields. Let's add a linear field here, linear field, and the spherical field on top of it. For the spherical field, let's change it to multiply. On the displacer itself, come to shading. For the shader, enter color here. Come to object here. For the height, enter something like minus 150. Come to side view. Select the linear field, push it to the side. On the linear field, fields tab, change the direction to positive Z. Select the spherical, increase its size, push it up, and decrease the size for inner sphere to very small value. Okay, select the spherical field, come to remapping for the strength enter something like 150 check on invert here you can also play around with the multiplier to get less or more of the effect that's okay for now i'm happy about it duplicate the displacer here come to side view push the linear field to other side after that select the linear field and change the direction to minus c as you can see we have this curvature effect on the both sides. Let's save the file. Let's turn back on the thicken and subdivision surface. Come to display, select constant shading. That's great for now. Let's also turn on RS render view to see where we are going. Perfect, I love it. Turn it off, close it for now. Also turn the thicken and subdivision surface back off for now. Let's make the other elements for the render. First, let's add a plane here, change its direction to something like positive x here, push it out, make it bigger, make it bigger. Let's add a camera here, change its focal length to something like 120. Come here, add another panel for the camera, select RS camera, come to display, select constant shading with lines can adjust and change the position of camera on this new panel that also come here on the filter and select geometry only i love it perfect now let's add lights first add a dom light here open browser search for hdri select one you like i love this one so make sure rs dom light is selected drag and drop the hdri here on texture as you can see HDRI applied. Let's also add a spotlight here on browser. Search for gobos. Select one you like. For example, I want this one here. Drag and drop it to texture on the spotlight. Come to detail. Turn off softness effect gobo. Enter value for softness something like 10. For now, let's minimize this panel. Let's place the a spotlight where we like, push it out, change its rotation, drag it down, make it bigger here on the spotlight, come to object, change the cone angle to bigger value. Let's turn on RS render view to see what we are getting, hit play, and to see the view from correct angle, make sure on the second panel, use as render view is on we want this to be render view okay that's okay for now let's change some values on the lights to get more exposed scene on the spotlight change the exposure to 10 that's that's very high let's decrease it a gradually to 8 how about 6 how about 4 this is better happy about it for now let's also turn off the render view come here to the spotlight and reposition it to affect the 
object from this side think this is better come back to rs render view turn it back on you can play around with the a spotlight position until you get the results you like i'm happy about the results for now save the file turn off render view let also add the material here search for plastic open material panel here drag and drop the preferred material you like double click on it here first add a noise max on noise here let's also add the value node on the max on noise find the scale here add it to the input connect the result of value to a scale on the value enter something like 100 on the noise select something like set noise add a ramp here connect the noise to alt input of ramp change this color for example i like blue also i want it to be harsh so i change it to a step drag these knots that's okay for now let's also add a color layer here okay input this to the base color let's also add color user data here for the preset select more graph color connect it to color on layer one connect this to the color on a standard material put it on the voronoi fracture here save the file open our render view another time hit on play and the material here for projection select cubic come to coordinate for the scale enter something like 400 i cannot see anything happening what's the problem let's connect the ramp directly here so it's working somehow the problem was that on layer one blending mode i should use something like multiply here connect it to output and that's working yes you can play around with the slider on ramp or change the colors on the shader field here on the color remap also i want this to be a step not linear okay i like it more now perfect and don't forget to turn back on thicken and subdivision surface for final render and that was all for this video bye bye